Good evening there, Tanner here with Darrow Shirky. i just gonna do a quick walk around of this 07 for you up front. Honestly, pretty clean, but I am gonna point out the areas that I do see. This front passenger panel looks pretty darn good, to be frank with you. In terms of the bumper, looks good as well. Obviously, you do see the rust spot right there. Try to get a good angle for you. And right there, and I do not have the biggest hands. Once again, I'm gonna nitpick just a nitpick. Right there, you step away. Not too noticeable, but you will see it if you're right on top of it. We'll wait till the very end to get underneath the vehicle for you. You do get the mud flaps up front. In terms of the interior, somebody left a license plate bracket in here, but you do have the armor all. Armor all, tough word for me to say. Rubber floor mats in the front. And I do not smoke, so I can confirm that this is a non-smoker as well. Up front you have four-wheel drive everything. Typical for Chevy, a little bit right here. Volume, the button is kind of wearing off, still works. Then you do have automatic lights as well on this 07. And in the back, I mean, typically a pretty good sign. Somebody took care of their vehicle if they're willing to spend that money on the rubber floor mats. Try to get near the bottom of these doors because the 07s and kind of this age range in general, the Colorados are kind of notorious for having a little bit of rust near the bottom of the doors. Right here is pretty darn clean in terms of the cab corners. I mean, you do see one spot right there. A little bit on the fuel cap. This bubble slash surface rust right there. And then the very bottom of this door right there, you see it. Off-road four-wheel drive badging along the side. Tailgate looks good as well. Um, it's kind of ironic. We had an 09 Escape last week. Same area, but bubble rust at the very bottom. Looks like they took pretty good care of it, but you do see it. There's a ball as well. As we take a peek underneath, any point you can pause it. We swing along the side. Pretty much checks out in terms of that side. As we open up the rear passenger door. I mean, honestly, same thing as the other ones, except this one's not too bad at all. A little bit right here along that door. Cab corners look good. You have a little bit of bubble right there. And like I said previously, you do get the mud flaps up front. I mean, this door checks out. So passenger door checks out almost completely. But hey, I know we're flirting with four minutes right here, but hopefully this video does help, helps me out, um, hopefully helps you out. And then this is very minute right here, very minor in the grand scheme of things, but bow tie. Looks like a little bit of the paint peeled right there. Not really evident unless you're right on top of it, but you will see it. So like I said earlier on the phone, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, we're here nine to seven, Wednesday, Friday, nine to 5.30, and Saturday, nine to three. We do prefer to take our appointment, our last appointment that is, an hour before closing. Honestly, because the majority of us have families that we do like to see occasionally. So give me a holler, whether it be tonight, whether it be tomorrow, Shoot me a text message. Give me a call. Um, if you do call, try to reach out to my cell phone, 419-799-0193, or simply shoot me a message. Appreciate you. Speak soon.